It is concerning that at the very time we have no clarity about whether Malcolm Turnbull will fund the years five and six of the Gonski Agreement, he at exactly that moment is floating the notion of walking away from state schools. That doesn't make any sense. You know, the, it, national leadership is not doing a runner from education funding and, oh, well, the states can look after all that now. I think we always do better when we have a true partnership and when governments work together. Uh, sure, be clear on what your role is, but working together you'll always get more done than breaking agreements, uh, walking away from you know, deals that were signed between sovereign governments uh, and making savage cutbacks. Well, I'm very hopeful today that uh, we see some improvement to that, i.e. we start to see some changes in relation to the health funding, uh, we get some clearer position ar around uh, education funding and at the same time in terms of tax reform I think it's been very clear uh, New South Wales has put forward a number of constructive proposals in this. Uh, we're happy to be constructive participants and we're happy to consider all ideas uh, that are brought forward. As soon as a proposal is put up with good intention, people start doing the numbers and working out whether I lose or you win uh, and we go nowhere. And We've had decades of that. So I think what Malcolm Turnbull's done is exactly appropriate. Uh, let's look at trying to match up expenditure and revenue raising and let's look at trying to divide responsibility clearly. So even in the education area, dividing uh, responsibility for state schools and uh, Catholic and independent schools makes sense. And after all, the states already fund 90% of state schools. It's not a big deal. If you're going to go and sign up for a new house, you'd see the contract, you'd go and talk to your bankers, you'd get legal advice, you would see the detail. Today, we have nothing. We still have no detail about what Malcolm Turnbull uh, wants to propose to us. Now, I represent a large state and health funding is crucial. Uh, education funding is crucial. I'm determined to get education on the agenda. Uh, how can you talk about ideas and innovation if there is uh, no discussion about school funding? We're quite prepared to engage in a sensible discussion uh, about how income tax uh, might be available to the states to better fund um, essential services, perhaps dispense with arrangements that are duplicitous, that don't deliver good efficient services. I think that's what Australians would expect us to do. But what has been flagged, as I say, is something that would put Tasmania at a disadvantage. Uh, so it's not something we're entertaining.